protege of uh, Harry Lewis's. And by the way, I want to mention that video was done by a high school student at Coach Bell. Good evening. Good evening. My name is William Miller, and I'm here to personally thank Mr. Lewis for everything that he's done in my life. I met Mr. I met Mr. Lewis as a ninth grader, <laughs> a ninth grader going in the wrong direction. He accepted me onto his track and field team. I excelled at track and field and he stuck with me the entire way. I made it to my senior year, and during my senior year, <clears throat> I was notified that I would not graduate because I had failed math. As a proud athlete and a very popular student, my pride was crushed. I was embarrassed. And I left school. I walked out of the school at that moment, and my plan was to never come back. I walked home 15 blocks. And during that walk home, I saw every negative influence that I could possibly see within a 40-minute period. And I was invited into each and every one of those negative activities. The following Monday, I went back to school to clean my locker out, and Mr. Lewis doesn't know this until this day, and I was going to sign out of school. I was going to quit before they told me I couldn't graduate. I gave up. Mr. Lewis pulled me into his office, and he didn't ask me if I was going to try. He told me, you're going to try. I'm not going to give up on you. You're going to hang in there. You're going to talk to the math teacher. You're going to stay after school every day, even if I have to take you home. In short, I stayed after school every day. And when it was all said and done, the teacher stood up, crossed her arms, and she smiled from ear to ear. And she said, if you work as hard as you possibly can and do your best, one day you may be a D plus student. <laughs> <laughs> but I cannot pass you. You will not graduate. <clears throat> my issue was I could solve any math problem in my head, but I didn't I couldn't explain how I solved the problem. In order to graduate, to pass standardized testing, you have to be able to show your work. That was it for me. I left, and I didn't plan on coming back. Mr. Lewis came and got me. He talked to my parents, he talked to me. He said, you go to summer school, you finish. Quitting is not an option. And when you finish summer school, I will do everything I can to make sure you get into college and you move forward with your life. And I said, absolutely not. I give up. And when I finished summer school, <laughs> Mr. Lewis kept his word. He took several guys, picked us up personally, cleared everything with our parents, and took us to college. five friends that he pulled me away from, that he continuously warned me about, were no longer my friends. I went away to college. When I graduated from college, those five friends 
One was dead. He was murdered. The other was doing life in prison. The third was in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. The fourth overdosed on drugs. And the fifth decided to follow me. I was his guiding light because Mr. Lewis was my guiding light. Mr. Lewis is more than a mentor. He is a positive, motivating force for thousands, not hundreds, but thousands of children, teenagers, men and women. And Mr. Lewis, until this very day, and this year going through the hardest year of my entire life, you have been with me and stuck by me and guided me 150%. And I thank God for you, because without you, I don't know where I would be. That's You're more than a man. You're more than a father figure. Your character, your charisma, your dignity, your unwavering pride in your community cannot be compared to anyone that I've ever met in my entire life. You're amazing to me, Mr. Lewis. And I love you to death. Thank you for being my mentor and thank you for never giving up on me. Here. 
So along the way, everyone continually gets mentored. And I'd like Regina to please stand. Uh, Harrisburg with this orientation and if they saw me now and my nose running and my eyes running they, uh, they said I don't know Mr. Lewis but anyway, but anyway I like to think that my growing up and uh, my commitment to my mom and as I was saying my mom would have been 100 years old but last year and we celebrated that and the lady that I chose for my second wife, her birthday was on the same day that my mother's, November 7th. Aww. So there's some uh, harm in there somewhere. But ladies and gentlemen, you know. Uh, is this yours, Carl? <laughs> it's good. It's good. Harry. Harry. I'm sorry. Uncle Lou was on his way to get you. That's okay. Thank you. And, let, and, and, and bear with me. Uh, we're rambling a little bit, but I'm talking about my foundation. Uncle Lou, stay, Uncle Lou, come up here with me. Please. You're talking about an inspiration. This is one of my last remaining uncles on my mother's side. This gentleman is a World War II vet. <laughs> 